That's right. Going to that shooting where three people were sent to the hospital, we're learning a second person has died as a result of that incident. 19-year-old Richard Kalinge, the third, was pronounced dead at the scene. Two other victims, a 25-year-old Miel Rand and an unnamed 29-year-old, both males, were taken to the hospital. Rand died this afternoon from his injuries. Police are asking for the community's help while responding to violent situations like these. And after that initial shooting, neighbors and business owners in the North Clinton Avenue neighborhood say they're fearful in the wake of increased violence. That's getting worse. As Natalie Kuchko tells us, some business owners are considering moving. Natalie. Yeah, Adam, Teresa, with two shootings there in just 24 hours, we're told some merchants are giving second thought to doing their business there over concerns of safety. Albert Argerin is the president of the North Clinton Ave Business Association. He tells us the ongoing violence in the neighborhood isn't easing up and says some business owners are looking to leave the area. It's a problem he says needs to be addressed sooner than later. To them, it's like you know, uh, like a police officer, right? He puts his uniform in the morning, puts his badge in, and doesn't know if he's going back home. Uh, to them, uh, the idea was that they would come in and do business and sell the products and go home. But at this point, the way things are going in the area, they don't feel safe. They, they just don't know if they're even going to make it home that day. And Algren is also telling residents in the North Clinton neighborhood to avoid going out at night altogether if they don't need to. Adam, Teresa. Natalie, thank you. The Business Association is also calling on neighbors there to contact city officials for a more refined plan they say is still needed in addressing the ongoing violence. We'll continue to follow that story, of course.